hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're seeing this face for the very first time the name is sherida mapanga but you can call me shiz there's no need for the formality if you're new hello and welcome i hope you're here to stay please do hit the subscription button and become part of this fabulous family and if you're my family thank you so much for your loyalty and your continuous support so on today's video i'm going to do a cut crease if you've watched my intro you would have seen that i indicated that i'll be doing um you know these full glam or bright colors and all of that and quite honestly i haven't actually kept my promise so today i'm gonna attempt to do that and let's see how it will look because honestly when it comes to bright eyeshadows i get an anxiety <laughs> i'm more of a nude girl if you get what i'm trying to say i i prefer your you know toned down brownish colors you know goldish you know just laid back type of colors that's what i'm into but it's okay let's just try this one and see how it will look and yes so without any further ado let's get right into the video so first thing first using a spoolie brush i'm going to brush my eyebrows upwards just to give them a direction and a shape so now that i'm done with that i'm gonna go in with the got to be gel and shape my eyebrows further so I'm just going to put a little bit on the spoolie brush, not too much, just a little guys, just like so. The reason why I say do not use too much, what happens is since this is a gel, it if you put a lot around your eyebrows, there's going to be this white this whitish color to it after you put your foundation and you don't want that because it doesn't look nice and it's just it looks a bit messy so with my finger guys i'm just gonna press on my brows just so they can stay so they can lay as flat as i want them to be so guys the reason why i just did this as my first step today it's because i've actually noticed it makes it easier to do your makeup when you do this because if you do it after you after you've applied your foundation it just looks a bit messy since there's going since now you are like mixing the foundation and the gel all together it just ruins it all so i've decided to rather start with my eyebrows and yes i'll let them set and i'll let them the glue dry while i apply foundation on the rest of my face so as always because it's very important i'm gonna prep my face using my usual maybelline mattifying primer i'm only going to apply this product guys on the areas which secrete a lot of oils which is under my eye on my nose and also here on my forehead now i'm gonna go in with my rimmel london long lasting setting spray to prime my face so now that i've primed my face and i'm happy with it i'm gonna go in with the mac foundation nc 43.5 and I'm going to apply it using the Hemosaflow Cosmetic Foundation Brush. This is how the brush looks like. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the foundation on my hand, like so. I think I should, next time I should buy the one that comes with the, is it a pump? The one that looks like a spray bottle. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. But yeah, because I feel like it makes it easier to apply. I'm putting it here because I actually just gradually want to build the, the coverage. So I'm just going to tap and take as little as I can and go ahead and apply it on my face. Just like so. So 
so guys over the weekend i was just feeling bored and you know i went on twitter and also on on youtube mind you i'm actually new on twitter and it's still quite confusing for me <laughs> You know, Twitter has its own people, eh? It really does. And I'm just not one of them. But I'm, I've been learning. I've been learning. I think eventually I'll understand how Twitter runs. For now, yeah. It's a story for another day. So I've noticed there's this girl called um, Sian Buji. I hope I pronounced her name well. And the guy called bam Sine. apparently these two were in a one-year relationship mm -hmm. yeah so things got messy and um apparently the guy went to the girl's apartment and honestly we don't even know why he went there in the first place but then it looks like when he got there they when he got there they started fighting uh, the guy was accusing the girl of cheating on him and all of that okay and then i'm sure you guys have seen the story really so let me just not get into the details because honestly the reason why i'm mentioning this it's not about it's actually not about what happened it's just the fact that i kind of like watched the the, the interview between musa kaula and the bamsi guy and also the girl cn buji herself and I was just shot. Like, guys, I was shot. Like, I just realized that, funny enough, I've been alive for 20 years, 28 years, and I know so little. Like, did you know something called sneaky linking? Apparently, it's um, a term used for people that get together for, or rather, to have fun or for you know it's 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 a it's an elegant way of describing um the process whereby as a lady i offer my services to you and you pay me in return so just to you know sweeten it and make it not look awful or frowned on we they call it sneaky linking and from what i hear this girl is like young guys so i was like so shocked like i was like wow like people are doing things out there guys like people are doing things you get people are doing things oh <laughs> Oh guys, I hope you saw that video. Really, I'm not laughing. I'm I'm not laughing at the fact that this guy was injured. I don't really know what happened. You know what they say, just like with River and uh, Oscar Pretorius, only the two of them would know what happened on the day of the incident. And also with these two, I don't know what happened between the two of them. I don't know much, but I only know what I heard and watched on youtube and i should say people are living a quite interesting life out there very interesting you know this slay queen life is it's out there guys like people are leaving it and it's shocking i mean for someone to live in an apartment that cost 20k or 13k and they're not working and they're like and this person calls herself a dj and she goes like i pay for my own bills you know i work for myself child wait where are you working if your job depends on someone else you know 
hiring you or calling you up for a gig or that i don't see that as as work but please don't crucify me it's just my own opinion everyone is entitled to their opinion and anyone can say whatever they want to say last time i checked but it's one of those it's quite interesting guys so back to the interview so when the guy was interviewed he was like okay now that i'm done with my foundation guys i'm going to conceal my face using the revlon color stay five in one in the color medium deep i'm going to apply this okay i'm just gonna quickly oh guys i really need to go makeup shopping and oh girl i got a mad the program does say i don't have money and i cannot afford such yeah but this is this is betrayal and sabotage at its best <laughs> just like other people's situation okay guys so i'm just applying this light concealer under my eyes on my forehead where the lights uh, concentrate and also on my nose and I'm also gonna go in with my Maybelline fit me foundation in the color 350 caramel I'm going to contour my face with it I prefer I actually prefer the foundation over a concealer because it is just so easy guys for me to blend since I'm still a newbie and I'm still learning so I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones, just like so. Nyabon, then jalunch. And here on my neckline, I'm also going to take a little bit and also apply it on my nose. Guys, and if you see properly, I'm like squeezing the sponge so I can be able to apply the foundation. So a little bit that's left on my sponge, I'm just going to apply it on my forehead, as you can see, just like that. So guys, now that I'm done placing my foundation where I actually want to contour my face, I'm just going to go ahead and start blending while we continue with our story. So guys, on the interview, the guy claims that, ugh, let me just get this hair all out of my way. Okay, and guys, it's important to actually have like a, either a head wrap or an elastic band or like anything that you can have on your wig so that you don't actually dirty them. So, so that you don't dirty this area of your wig now because when when you have foundation on your wig it just looks it looks a bit messy and that's when your that's when the wig line i don't know if that's what you would call it but just for you to understand what i'm trying to say hairline so i assume automatically it should be the wig line right <laughs> i don't know but yeah just because when you apply a foundation on your wig that's when it actually becomes visible and you can see the difference between the lace and your skin and it just looks a bit messy it's not really nice so let's continue ja and stop wasting time okay okay so the guy claims that um he met the girl at some club and uh the first time they hooked up is because the girl dm'd him and told him that he was cute and interesting and all of that and then he was like no cool thank you you know it's a compliment thanks and yeah from then they started talking and then he flew the girl to durban because he was somehow going to durban the guy stays in cape town and he was somehow going to durban and he flew the girl there and they met and then they spent a night or two and then afterwards the girl wanted some cash 
Okay. So the guy gives the girl 5K for the two nights that they spend together. So the girl refused it. It's like, no, dude. I mean, you know, don't you know my worth? 5K, that's a little. That's not enough. Okay. The guy adds another 5K to the already 5K that he gave to her, making it 10 grand. Oh, some girls. Guys, out there like, Hey, people are working. So, okay, my guy gives her the money. And then, yeah. Apparently, he told himself he was done with her because obviously he wasn't going to get serious with someone that he meets. And then after they spent a night or two, he has to pay for, for the, <clears throat> you know, but the girl texts him is like no it's not about the money i just wanna you know chill with you i like to vibe and all of that mm -mm, girls with tricks right eh? so okay cool they meet up again and to cut the story short they become no longer sneaky linking they become an item so she claims i'm just blending the a lighter concealer all over my face where I applied it I'm blending it together with the foundation okay actually this whole chit chat get ready with me it's quite difficult it's not as easy as it looks especially uh, explaining each and every step that I'm doing and also trying to tell you the story it just makes it quite difficult guys but Let's do this. Cause I'm tiny the band. I need some dust. I'm tiny the band. Let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's grill. Let's do the things. Okay, I'm gonna go with my beauty blender on my nose. I'm just gonna squeeze it like this and um blend the concealer on my nose. Okay. Fast forward the now my girl being maintained and all of that and obviously all of that then <laughs> oh well you know what they say about what goes up it always have to come down gravity left gravity so obviously i'm sure the guy also got tired of taking care of the girl who had like this high standard who pays 20k for her apartment and she's like only a dj okay don't get me wrong i'm not saying that djs don't make a lot they do they actually make a lot of money but like she's still new at it you get you'd have to like be a pro and you'd have to be in the entertainment industry for quite some time for you to be like recognized and for you to like charge so much isn't it i'm sure that doesn't even take someone with a degree to figure that out so cool okay guys when you're blending around your eyes also just look up it makes it easy to blend your concealer properly because if you don't you're gonna start creasing and we don't want that child mm -mm, we don't because we can't be gossiping about people and also not applying our makeup properly. Obviously, they're also going to talk about us, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Actually, guys, it was the interviews. The interviews are the ones that caught my, my attention. And it was... Hmm, people will do you dirty, child. People will do you dirty. So the guy comes and he was like to Musa Kaula, no, you know what? This girl is painting me to look like an abuser. I'm not like that. This is what has been happening. I've been financing her expensive lifestyle. And now that I'm having my own financial crisis, obviously, you know, things are getting a bit, yep. 
and you know she since she's not working she needs she needed she needs more you know this is a girl that just needs more and they've made up their mind and they told themselves that she needs more and she will always go out there to get more what is saddening is the fact that apparently she's so young i think she's 21 if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure guys but she's like really really young and if you know hearing all of that and the scandals that or kid and i realized wow at only just 21 and all of that has happened to her that's just a bit too much guys i know she's like at the prime of her life you know yolo you know she's young she should leave her life and all of that but that's a bit too much that's just a bit too much and yeah please check out youtube twitter and just follow the whole thing because it's kind of like still trending and yeah it's just it's shocking man it's really shocking so i'm gonna go in again with this beauty blender and just blend out the foundation on my nose so yeah that is done guys so yeah that is done and i like how my face look like but i'm just gonna go in with the foundation brush and just blend out everything so it can look smooth and not rough guys it's really shocking what people do out there because she was like you know she she stays in this you know expensive apartment she takes care of people at home and i just wonder what is it that she tells people at home you know the ones that she takes care of does she tell them she's working like do our parents put that much pressure on our lives for us to like you know do the things or we just put unnecessary pressure on ourselves and we end up falling for such lifestyles but that's just what's happening with the country at the moment but yeah and i'm just blending my nose i'm sure you can see there's like harsh lines on my nose so what i'm doing is trying to cancel them out with the foundation brush so now i'm gonna set my face using the quick face perfecting loose powder by ayanda and lungile tabete as i've said before if you check my videos you'd know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna use this angled brush from hemosa cosmetics guys they don't really have like your numbers or descriptions hence i don't know what they call these brushes i honestly just try and figure them out like whenever i have a brush i look at it and i'm like mm, i think this might be for this or this might be for that that's just what i'm basically doing at the moment and so far it works for me i'm not complaining so i'm just gonna set my under eye i see my under eyes are already creasing so i'm just gonna go over with this blending brush and just blend the concealer before i set it because if i don't i will just intensify these lines under my eyes so yeah guys i'm not really so much of a storyteller but like from this story i was just shocked man like how can you live such an expensive life and you're not working and you're even supporting people at home and i just feel like the pressure is just too much honestly i don't know what's happening in her life i don't even know the girl but guys that's just that's a lot you know that's a lot honestly that's just too much so i hope the two forgive each other and a breakup and not get back together because apparently they would break up and go and get back together break up and get back together so i hope that doesn't happen because they're just toxic for each other and their relationship is not good okay guys so what i do is i dab into the 
powder and then i dust off the excess powder because i don't need too much of it on the brush and just go ahead and you know and just go ahead and apply on the areas where i applied the revlon concealer or rather the lighter concealer so guys there's just a lot that happened between the two of these people you know termination of pregnancy guy paying 20k rents and my girl allegedly cheating and my guy and my girl physically getting into a fight oh that's just too much drama you know but i hope they heal and just forgive the past and move on and just never date each other again but yeah guys oh, i really hope everything works out for my girl and everything works out for my guy but you guys so oh. you know honestly this whole slay queen's lifestyle dm kind of relationship i've I've, I've heard so much about them but i never really thought like they do like exist you know i'm really quite shocked to to see that there's such things called sneaky linking <laughs> sneaky linking i wonder if there's even like um like a website or is it like i, I don't know guys but if you want to hear more about this just check on you know um check youtube and yeah and you'll get the gossip so i'm using a smaller brush guys to apply the the powder on my on my nose i don't want to cancel out um my foundation if you get what i'm saying Okay, now that I'm done setting my face with powder, I'm going to go in again with my setting spray and just, you know, set the face again. So guys, I'm going to bake my face a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and bake the areas that I want to. I want my contour to be visible guys better give more jolo the day teams yay hello safe i'm also placing the powder on my nose okay guys i'm done baking my face now i'm gonna go ahead and draw my eyebrows so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my eyebrows using the quick face defining pencil and I will be outlining my eyebrows as you have seen on my previous video but this time it's an it's actually quite an advanced one it's not for beginners but it's also doable very easy to do if you just you know pay as close attention as you can you realize it's not as tricky so what i'm going to do basically i'm going to outline under my eyebrows and also on top of my eyebrows and fill my eyebrows drawing light hand strokes going in different direction this part it will go like this and then as i go towards outer corners of my eyebrows and then the direction will then change so let's just go ahead and do that Remember guys, light hand. Just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm gonna fill my eyebrows in. I'm gonna go in with this spoolie brush just to cancel out the harsh lines I've created while filling up my eyebrows. So guys, using a flat brush that looks like this, 
I'm going to conceal under my eyebrows and also on top of my eyebrows. I'm going to use the same concealer which I used all over my face to conceal my eye. And guys, please don't use too much of the concealer while concealing your eyebrows. Use just a little bit. And if you if you pay close attention, I'm only going to conceal the outer corners of my eyebrows and not the inner corners of my eyebrows. The reason why I'm doing that is because, like I've said so many times, um, when you conceal here, you interfere with your nose contouring and it also makes your eyebrows look not so natural. So remember the outer corners. Guys, if you can check, while applying, I'm also dragging the concealer downwards towards my eyelid, cancelling out the excess concealer, bringing it down like this, which will also serve as my eyeshadow primer. And if you check, I connect this concealer here with the one that I applied under my under my eyes and now I'm just going to blend it out and by the way guys you see this eyebrow I wish I could give it to someone else it's so problematic like it just I never get it right it just it let's it's double one eyebrow it's like a clacane it's just in far in pharmacy weeks, like you know outlining and shaping this eyebrow it's always a lot of work for me a girl can only try right a girl can only try with this eyebrow but many a times i fail you know i attempt a lot but many a times i fail my eyebrow always disappoint me it always shows me flames like other people's relationships. As in gizo shaw, I'm tasi. Gizo shaw. Diteta great. If that's how to say it. Okay, guys. Like I said. <laughs> okay, guys. So now I'm going to go on top of my eyebrows with my foundation. The very same foundation which I use on my entire face to shape them so using the corner of my brush as you can see the corner of my brush i then draw a line over my eyebrows shaping them after drawing the line i pull out the excess foundation and then blend it out so now i'm going to prep my eyes finally for the foundation for Jeez, for the eyeshadows so i'm gonna use this la pro concealer which is like so finished uh in the color pure beige to conceal my eyes since it has a thicker consistency so i'm just carefully spreading the concealer all over my eye patience guys patience and after spreading it, now I'm just blending it nicely around my eye. You want to be careful when you spread it. Remember I say, always play far from, the con from your nose contour. Done. So today I'm going to use this Naked 5, The Gift of Nature temptation palette which looks like this i'm just gonna go backwards for you guys to see this is how it looks like and these are all the different eyeshadows that this palette has so today i will be using the green one over here which is called bacon and 
this lime green over here which is used which is called peggy which is a shimmer shade so the reason why i'm actually showing you all these shades that i'll be using is because this palette is uncomfortably huge and i will not be doing this all the time it's just too much like a lot of energy require required to apply my transition color i'm going to use this fluffy brush over here and i'm just gonna dust off the excess eyeshadow on the brush and just place it here guys you need to be patient while when you're applying your eyeshadow and guys when you apply your first color make sure you hold your brush at the tip and just go light-handedly just place it light-handedly don't put too much pressure on the brush so you can be able to blend it and then after placing it where i want it i'm then gonna go in circular motions and blend the entire eyeshadow so guys now using a flat brush i'm going to pack the same color on top but just right over here so again with the fluffy brush i'm just gonna blend the hash line now i'm gonna cut my crease using the flat brush and the la the la pro concealer so guys i'm just tapping over the concealer blending it out so it doesn't crease i have hooded eyes so it's very difficult cutting my crease especially on the other side on this eye okay finally Woo. it takes forever doing this eh? so now guys i'm just packing the color the green color on the outer corner of my eye i'm just gonna take the fluffy brush and blend out everything again blend it so guys my battery died and i had to like quickly charge my phone but i'm back now because we had to finish this look all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and cancel out the hush line um with the same color all i'm doing is i pick up just a little bit and blend everything all together now i'm gonna go in with um the color piggy which is the lime green well using the flat brush i'm just gonna place it over here so guys i'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the green color and just blend it in together with the lime green just to connect the eyeshadows so far so good i hope you can see that i'm done with the eyeshadows but i feel like i feel like a bit of drama guys i mean it's just two eyeshadows i think i'm gonna put a bit of gold in my in my inner corners what do you guys think i think it'll just bring out that thing you know let's put a bit of gold I love it. I like it. Well, I guess bright colors are not so bad, right? But, mm, child. Alright. So, now guys, I'm going to put a bit of the um, eyelash glue where the lime and the green meet. Because we're about to put glitter, babes. We're about to put glitter. We are not leaving this look just like that. Nope. We're choosing drama. Drama all the way. So what I did is I put a little bit of the glue on my hand. And then I'm just going to go ahead and place it here. 
and then i'm gonna pick up some of the glitters and put it and place it where i put the glue guys just like that okay now i'm a i'm in a bit of a hurry because i'm exhausted i've been sitting here shooting almost i don't know how many hours now so i just need to finish and it looks like i put i put a lot of glitters this side because this side looks much better so i'm just gonna remove guys some of the glitters because they are a lot and then it just looks a bit messy with a black liner i'm just gonna line my eyes guys now i'm gonna put on my lashes and then dust off the powder on my face and just quickly complete the look okay i let the glue stay long and now it's a bit dry but i'm not about to redo this because i just quickly want to finish oh no i guess i have to so while i wait for my glue on the lashes to dry i'm quickly going to apply my blush guys in circular motions i'm blending my blush all over my cheek as you can see so now i'm gonna go in with my quick face uh supreme glow highlighter which is now my favorite i so i'm just gonna place it over here If you check it's actually on top of the blush and then i'm just adding a little bit on my forehead just to add a glow oh yeah guys it's actually late in the evening i decided to shoot late so that i can be able to compare the lighting during the day and late in the evening because i know it's been a problem for me during the day it's been too 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 bright so i decided you know what let me do this in the evening and see how it goes and then we'll see if it works out or not and we're also gonna add a little bit here like if guys if you check i'm putting a little bit of the highlighter on the areas in which i highlighted with the lighter concealer girlfriend what can, can you guys see this like do you see this because child please so now i'm just gonna put on my lashes hopefully the glue is dry because if it's not I'm gonna die okay i'm tired i just want to finish this so i'm gonna die if it's not dry it's not okay let's go ahead and do my lips in the meantime uh i'm gonna use the essence eye pro pencil to line my lips Guys, when it comes to lips, there really is no trick to it. You just line them how you want your lips to, to be lined. Some overline their lips, some make them smaller. Whichever, whichever way works for you, it's fine, really. Just like that, I'm done. With my favorite nude color from MAC in the shade Kinky Star six five two i'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my lips so guys since the glue on my lashes is taking forever 
I will then put my lashes off camera and also just quickly fix my hair so that I can show you the final look. So this is the final look. I'm loving everything. Wow, I can't believe this. The way I don't feel comfortable with bright colors, but I think this is beautiful. And you know, one can step out on a weekend for a lunch or dinner. It's, it's still acceptable, so yeah. Uh, I enjoyed making this look. I hope you guys also did enjoy. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. If there's any views you would like to share with me, please leave them on my comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please hit the subscription button and become part of the fabulous, fabulous, fabulous family. Guys, do take care and I will see you on my next video. Bye.